Okay, welcome to your 2.7 screencast. You can see up at the top of the screen that the essential question is how can you use place value and partial products to multiply a two by one digit number? Okay, in this lesson we are going to be using partial products. So we're gonna take a number and we're gonna break it apart into partial products. Connect says, how can you use what you know about the distributive property to break apart numbers and find products of a three digit and a one digit number? Okay. Here we have 6 times 182. How can you write 182 as a sum of hundreds, tens, and ones? Okay, so if you think of the number 182 in expanded form, you would have 100 plus 80, because there's 8 tens, plus 2 ones. Okay, and here they're asking you to estimate. And we estimate to find about what the answer is going to be or to find if the answer, answer is reasonable. So to estimate, I'm going to do 6 times 2 is 12 plus 2 zeros. So I know my answer is going to be about 1,200 or 1,200. Down here on step 1, it's telling you to multiply the hundreds first. I know that that is confusing because in the standard way that we taught you, 6 times 2 would be the first thing that you do. So you do the 1's first. When you're doing partial products, this is just one way to do it, okay, you're going to actually multiply the hundreds first. So you're going to take this 6 and you're going to multiply it by the hundreds. Think in your heads, how many hundreds are there? Well, there are 1 hundreds. So 6 times 100 is equal to 600. And this product down here is going to be one of the numbers that you're going to add in to make your product. Then you're going to just work backwards. So now you're going to go 6 times 8. But it's not 8, it's in the tens place, so it's actually what number? 80. So 6 times 80. So 6 times 8 tens is 48 tens, or 480. Okay, so you could write it like that if you if that makes sense. 6 times 80. So you do 6 times 8 is 48 plus the 1 0. Okay. So now we have 600 and 480 and we're going to add those two numbers together, but we still have to go to our ones place. So let's go down to our ones place. 6 times 2 is 12. So now we have one more number that we're going to add to our product. Okay, so we're going to add 600, because that's what the hundreds place gave us. We're going to add um, 480, because that's what the tens place gave us. And we're going to add 12, because that's what the ones place gave us. And down here you can see they wrote that for you. 600 plus 480 plus 12. Okay, so go ahead and add those numbers together. So our answer comes to 1,092. So 6 times 8 is 182, or sorry, 6 times 182 is 1,092. Now, determine if that is reasonable. Is it in the ballpark? Is it close to that answer? Is it close to our estimate? Our estimate was 1,200. Our answer was 1,092. Yes, I'm going to use my judgment to say those numbers are close, so the answer is reasonable. Okay, turn the page over to page 100. It's asking you to use place value and partial products. So we're once again going to kind of work backwards, if you will. So we know we're going to multiply by 2. But we're going to multiply 2 times the thousands place. Okay, so we're not going to do 2 times 4. We're going to do 2 times 4 thousands, because that's how many thousands are in the thousands place. And we know that 2 times 4 thousands is actually 8 thousand. So write 8,000 right there. So once again, we're just going to find all of our um, answers here, and then we're going to add them up to get the product. So now we're, we did the thousands. Now we're going to move over to the hundreds. 2 times 5 hundreds is 1,000, because 2 times 5 is 10, plus the other two ones. So 1,000. So we did the hundreds, now let's move over to the tens. Two times seven, it's not two times seven, it's two times 70. Two times seven is 
14 plus, oops, let me make sure I'm lining it up right. 2 times 7 is 14 plus the 1 zero is 140. And then down here we have 2 times 2. And that is actually just 2 times 2 because both of those digits are in the ones place. So 2 times 2 is 4. Now we just have to add these four numbers up. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 plus 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. Oops, I completely forgot to do my estimate first, but that's okay because I'm, I'm wondering, I'm like, I don't know, I wonder if this answer is correct. Well, I can determine that by coming up here and seeing what my estimate would be. So here we have two times 4,572. I'm gonna round 4,572 to 5,000. So two times 5,000, so I'm gonna do two times five is 10, plus the other three zeros. So my answer has to be somewhere near 10,000 to determine if it's reasonable. Is my answer near 10,000? Yes, it is. 9,144 is close to 10,000, so I know that my answer is reasonable. Okay, you guys are going to go ahead and you're going to go down on page 100. You're going to do numbers 1 through 4. I want you to focus on numbers 3 and 4. Actually, do number one first because that's going to help you visualize it, and then do numbers three and four to make sure that you get those done because those will determine your groups.